What's up, Twisties? It's Twisted Pandora, and welcome back to another episode in the wonderful world of Roblox with your cyborg host and his trusty sidekick, Mr. Bob and Cyborg. And today we are doing the final part of the space battle event in Roblox for the Star Wars movie that's coming out really soon, and I'm gonna go see it for sure. But before we get to the third game, I wanted to show you the stuff that you ended up winning last episode, which was just earlier today. You got a BB-8, which is a gear, so it's absolutely useless, just like the Porg. I'm never ever gonna use it ever so it, it, even though it's cool and all uh, he's there look look at him look at look how small and cute he is but I can't really do much of it although the space battle helmet goes on my head I'm gonna keep it on for this episode just like I'm keeping on the galaxy necklace the only two things that you can really keep on but the space battle helmet is like Kind of gross looking to be honest, but hey, you know what? They tried their best. And this is the final game for this event, Field of Battle. This never ending war finds itself on the frozen wastelands of a distant planet beyond the reaches of our solar system. Somewhere in the fog of war, giants are carrying the components you need to harvest a mysterious gem. Meanwhile, hidden somewhere in desolation, a Jedi will bestow upon your reward if you and your team can figure out how to awaken it. On the page it says, see the badge descriptions for details on how to get the prizes. Oh, okay, so maybe it's a lot more complicated than some will think. Wait, is that Shrek? <laughs> what is he doing there? And we scroll down, and these are the two missions as we can see, Unleash the Jedi and Scored an Ice Gem. The first mission, Unleash the Jedi, says, first, make sure you are in the Blizzard map. Use Map Boat Blizzard to do this. Every five minutes or so, an internal fire orb spawns somewhere in the map. You must Pick up this orb and plug it in the Jedi socket, just touch it with the orb. Finding the orb can be the difficult part, so it helps to have either the assassin class for fast running or the flying sword. Beware of magic missiles though. If your team gets three of these, then anyone who put an orb in the socket gets the badge and the Jedi spawns, which will luckily destroy the other team. That is a lot. Wow, that is one big mouthful. All in all, it's saying that your team has to get three orbs into the sockets to win the game. That's essentially what it is. Now, these orbs take five minutes or so to spawn in. It takes a minimum at least 50 minutes. Apparently, finding them is hard. I don't know why they made it hard, so I'm going to have to be Assassin or Flying Sword class. And I have to be one of the ones to take the orb and put it in there, because if I'm not, then I won't get this badge. There's so many steps to get this. It's already way more complicated than it needs to be. But anyways, this is the second mission scored an ice gem first make sure you're in the blizzard map okay same thing as before next make sure you do significant damage to either the ice queen or ice golem when they spawn so two bosses it seems like you will eventually collect both the ice chisel and ice handle from doing this at this point, you can craft an ice pick in the shop tools menu using the ice ch chisel and handle to make it. Then use that ice pick to mine one ice gem in the mine and you unlock this badge. Okay, so there's another multi-step progress here. So these two last missions are probably going to be the hardest by far. And apparently it says, of course, doing all this as a level one is very unlikely. So try to get some levels to help you out. So we have to grind a bit as well, which is kind of annoying. And people here are not are not taking it well. It says, damn, they shouldn't have ever had this badge. Sure, it gives a good challenge on like other event badges, but this has gone extreme. This is too hard for a Roblox event, especially most of the Roblox players attend. They're, they're not wrong. Finally got that. I took him five hours. What? Oh my gosh. Everyone says it takes so long, not worth the time, five hours. I feel like a lot of people here are struggling with this one. So this is the event video you want to see. Anyways, let's head right into this. But before we do, be sure to drop a like and subscribe if you're new to the channel. Oh, here we destroy giants in the blizzard map to collect the pieces needed to create a special pickaxe that will allow you to extract a unique gem in the mine shaft. I guess that's like a, a, a synopsis of what we have to do. Find your team to four? It, what? It said three before. F not four. Place one of the four artifacts in the sockets in front of the hidden Jedi before the other team does. Oh, okay. Now apparently there's four of them. Hi, welcome to the field of battle. Since it's your first time playing, I'm going to help you get started. Wait, wait. No, no, no. I just I just want to fight. I just I just want to fight. Can I level myself up? Because I really don't want to be this, this low. First thing you should do is try to get to level two. This should be very easy as you only need to earn 10 XP. You can view your progress with the XP par. Uh, oh, okay, so this is my health, my mana, my speed, damage resist, and level up. Okay, I see. And these are the classes, and I believe they told me to either be the assassin or the the mage or the flying sword guy. Let's go to be assassin. I think that... Oh, assassin class? Really? It costs that much? Well, here we go. Wow. They really want you to spend money on this game to be, be able to do things. That's kind of... I don't know. I'm not a big fan of that, and I really didn't want to spend that. Here they are, the people that we need to fight against. We're going to fight. We're going to fight for what's right. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. I'm just going to put my put my knife in through. I don't know who am I. Who, who's the people that I'm fighting against? Oh, I'm dead already. Wow. A level five warrior took me out in two seconds. I got absolute. Since you are in the orc team, you should look for low level guys to fight. Well, it's hard to when the only exit out of here are. Oh, geez, is that a bomb? 
Is that what Quran Overseer? What is going on in this game, guys? I'm so confused. Avoid close combat when possible. Oh. Well, that would have been nice to know now. <laughs> oh my gosh, no, 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 I don't want to die. I'm too young to die. No, no, they're so low. Oh no, and now someone else is going to get all the XP that's not even on my team. Oh, wait, we've made it to level two. Yes, there we go. Now we're a bit faster. And now we can be in the assassin class. Oh, okay, so right when you're level one, you can't choose anything but the normal class. I guess that's for tutorial's sake. But now we are finally assassin. We got the flag. We captured the flag. Woohoo! We did it! Although I don't really know what else is to do in this game. But guys, if this is it, it's just a tunnel going down and up. It's just two bases underneath each other and a spiraling tunnel between them. So if that's all that is in here, that means, guys, this is in the Blizzard map. So map vote Blizzard. There we go. Current map vote Blizzard 1. Guys, you have to use map vote, please. Everyone, let's do the Blizzard event right now. So after a bit of grinding, I ended up purchasing a piano and uh, leaving a home and making a little party for everyone to come. Spider pig, spider turkey, orcs, knights, and, uh, you know, cyborgs all alike. And this is the end of the video. No, I'm just kidding, guys. We are in the Blizzard map that we voted, and that, I guess, was the lobby zone area. So after a bit of a grinding, I'm currently level 6. I have Assassin, and I am in it to win it. We are currently on the Orc side versus the humans. And what we got to do is find the Eternal Flames. I don't know how many there are, but we have to get a majority. I believe it's three is the majority. We have to grab it from wherever they spawn. Remember, they spawn every five minutes. And we got to keep our chat on because it shows in the chat. Now, now, where do you want to go after that? You're probably wondering, where do we take the orb? It is over here. You take the orb. Let, let me look. I'll, I'll show you guys exactly where. Now, I recommend saving up for the great sword of flying. Now, that is 12,000 gold. I don't even have close to that much gold, so I don't plan on getting that anytime soon, so I'm going to be stuck with Assassin. But anyways, you bring your orbs that you find, and you go here. You you walk all the way up. You see that's the Yeti. Oh, no. I got to leave. Uh, I got to leave. I got to leave. That's the Yeti way over there. And you got you there's five slots. Oh, okay. So I believe it is a majority either three or four I don't know because they, there's two different numbers that popped up already uh, one on the website and one on the badge page So either way just try to bring as many orbs over there get the majority put them in walk up to them It'll be absorbed into them and then every five minutes rinse and repeat then while that's all happening Eventually big bosses end up spawning in which is the ice queen and the other guy I forget his name right now. It's just a waiting game You just literally have to wait around and while you wait might as well grind and level yourself up because that's the best we got going on here as you guys can see on the top left of the screen in the chat it says an internal fire has spawned secure it before the other team does and that's exactly what i tend on doing they weren't kidding when they said that finding the orb was the hard part i'm looking everywhere for this orb scrounging around and i don't see anything anyone knows Anyone knows where this orb is. If it's not deposited in there, that means no one has gotten it just yet. Or maybe someone's holding it onto it right now. The orb! The orb! The eternal fire has been spawned! What? It just spawned right in front of me! Oh my gosh! Guys, guys, I gotta go. I gotta go. I gotta go. I'm currently being chased right now. I'm currently being chased. The orc! The orc! I am the orc! I am the chosen orc! Please! Please let me do it. Please, I just want to do it once. I want to do it once. I want to do it once. Please, Star Guy, don't, don't, don't kill me. Don't kill me, please. Please, I swear to gosh. I swear to gosh, Star Guy. Please, just let me live. I want to do this at least once, man. Do this at least once. I believe in myself. I believe in myself. Oh my gosh. Now is the challenge. Now is the challenge. Getting, getting around all this. No, no, come on. No, no. The orb is right there. No, the orb is right there. Finish. Finish where I started, Star Guy. So, guys, that was, uh, well, my failed attempt. I was so close. The orb literally rolled and smacked. The, it smacked the place where it was supposed to be, but because I was dead and I didn't hit it on the side, I was I just wasn't good enough, which really sucks. I need to get some armor, but I don't have enough gold for armor either, so it's not gonna really work out. Like I, I have I have enough for leather armor. Is that good enough? I bought the leather. Yeah, that'll do for now, I guess. We have the ice queen. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, this is the ice queen that- Oh my gosh! This event's pretty fun, it's pretty tough, but the problem is it's super hard for people that just joined the game to be able to win this event. It's super hard. Like, I just joined, I've been playing this game for an hour and a half now, and I'm only level 6. And that's already taken so long, and I'm not even close to as good enough to be able to defeat a lot of the people that have been playing this game for hours, or days even. So when they said, oh yeah, you have to level yourself up a bit, no, you have to level yourself up, like, insane. New players would only be able to do these two missions after hours and even days of hard grinding work.
it's very like demotivating. It's like I, I even right now I don't want to do this because I got so far to get that orb and I got it and I wasn't able to do it. Also, defeating an ice queen or whatever are super impossible right now on my level. So. I guess I'll just catch you guys when I'm uh, more decked out. Because I'm only at level 7, defeating the Ice Queen is very, very hard to do. I can't even get close to her, so the only thing I have is to use a bow. I've participated in about 4 Ice Queen kills, but I've gotten absolutely nothing from it. So, these boys over here, who are a lot more decked out than me, are offering to trade some of my own gems for things like the Ice Chisel. Let's go. Emerald, Peridot, Olivine. There we go! Ladies and gentlemen, we have gotten an Ice Handle! Woo! So, I'm just gonna stay here wait for the gems to respawn then i'm gonna mine them trade them for the ice chisel which is the other item that is used to combine into the ice pick guys you won't believe what happened i thought i was recording a certain section of this video and in fact i forgot to turn on the recorder but all in all this is what happened i mined a bit more gems ended up trading it with cynical michael 2340 over here he gave me the ice chisel so i combined the ice chisel and the ice handle by going to the shop then to tools and then you go down here to ice pick you click on this you need 100 gold as well you have all three things you get it that special ice pick is a one-time use thing only you have to go to mine this specific one over here There's, this is where the ice gems are then you mine you see if i use this right now if we take a look at our chat it says you need a special pickaxe to mine that but i had the special pickaxe the ice one i mined it and then i got the award which was to get the space shoulder shooter thing in my bob that goes on your on my shoulder and i got the ice gem award so that is one mission down for sure i'm sorry i didn't show that progress i totally forgot to turn on my darn recorder i apologize so much but huge shout out to cynical michael and as well as to devil box because he helped me out a lot with figuring out what exactly to do if you have time to grind go ahead go grind all you want and then do it yourself fight the ice queen yourself or you can take the easy route and just mine some gems and negotiate with others to trade for the pieces to put them together simple as that anyways now that we've done this we can move on to the first mission that was assigned to us and that is to collect the eternal fire gems which i tried to do once as you saw earlier but i miserably miserably failed the eternal fire has spawned right in front of me and i must acquire it right now if it's the last thing i do i got it I got it. Ladies and gentlemen, I got it, but we don't have the base secured. What do I do? Hey, Kappa's going in. Kappa's gonna fight. Yes, Kappa, please. I need you to fight. Go, go, Kappa, go. I, I need the defense because last time I did this, I died. Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go over here. Come on. Come on. No, he's... No, I got it. Yes, I did it. I did it. I finally did it. Oh, my gosh. Four hours. Four hours. I'm not even kidding you guys. It has been four hours. Actually, it's been four hours and 40 minutes. I've been at this from right now. So it's almost been five hours at this rate. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. We've almost done it. Feels amazing by the fact that we finally got an orb. I failed once, but like, I don't know how far into this video I am. All I know is I got a lot to cut. It's been almost five hours <laughs> and I finally did it. Oh, I'm so thankful. So now I'm going to wait around over here, try to get as many more orbs as I can and be able to have enough to spawn the Yeti in. I found it. I found an orb. I found another orb. Oh my God. There's also another orb right here. Oh no. No, 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 no. I'm getting shot from somewhere. I don't know where I'm getting shot from, but I can't die. Okay. So now we know there's it's two orbs in that same location. I try to get other people to come, but no one's coming over there. So you know what? I'm getting shot at. It's time to go ahead over there. I'm going to bring one of these orbs right over there because that would mean three, right? I think that's enough to lock the Yeti anyways. So if I do this and I'm not getting chased by anyone, this might be enough. This might just darn well be enough. Let's try it out right now. Let's see. Let's see. And yes, it is. Unleash the Yeti Award and raise lightsaber. Congratulations for all your brave yep efforts and helping to bring order to the Bloxyverse. You have rewarded to a virtual prize. I did it. I did it. I unleashed the Yeti. I finally did it. Oh my gosh. Five hours of recording and I am the happiest person on this planet. I can't believe it. I am so glad, guys. This video is going out really late. I apologize, but this game, honestly, even for someone like me who I would say isn't the worst at Roblox, took five hours to do this. And that was out without even leveling myself up completely. It probably would have taken me double the amount of time because if I wanted to actually take out the Ice Queen, that's how long it would have taken me. But 
you know what? Now we have this Yeti, which is super insane. And I believe you pretty much win if you had to have a Yeti. Like, this guy's a beast. But if this helped you all guys, even though it was a very difficult and a long and tedious process, be sure to drop a like down below and subscribe if you're new to the channel. This was so long, guys. Good luck. Like, sincerely, good luck to you guys. I really hope you all can do it. I look forward to the next event, which probably will be a Christmas-related event. And by the way, the two things that we did unlock, like I mentioned way in the beginning, was Ray's lightsaber, which is a gear, and as well as the Space Shoulder Cannon. Now, that is pretty cool. I'm going to actually put that on right now. I don't have Bobbin on my shoulder anymore, but rather I have the Space Shoulder Cannon. Look at it. I look like a complete space robot by at this point. The Yeti is still causing destruction everywhere he's going. We're going to join with the Yeti. There we go. We just defeated the general with the Yeti. That means the humans, which is the team I'm on right now, have won. This is the best thing to do. We got both missions completed and the game, the main goal of the game completed by chance because of the help of the Yeti. Thank goodness we did all that. Now we're in a lobby. Now we have our space cannon and our lightsaber, and we can call it a day. This is Twisted Pandora definitely signing off from the space battles, sitting on my piano. And as always, don't forget to stay snazzy. Mm -hmm.